Hello YouTube friends. Today, this morning when I got up, I was in a, a proper tidying up mode. And so this is, uh, I wish I could work, work this fast, but this is me sorting out the kitchen. It had become rather a mess. And um, <laughs> so apron on, have a good clear round. Uh, it's been two or three days since I did any cleaning up in the kitchen. And so good sweep round and uh, a nice clean tablecloth on. Yeah, so I've been, it's been a busy few days. I was at the dentist yesterday. I was at the hairdressers the day before. Uh, I had another swarm of bees. Uh, and I'll show you the bees in a minute because, uh, oh, I'm just spritzing my plants here. I've got some lovely house plants and I, I like to give them a treat every day. I give them a little spritz with some water and I think they seem to enjoy it because they're thriving. They're doing really, really well. And so this one, this is a maidenhair fern. I've had it for ages and I, I, yeah, it looks a bit weird what I'm doing there, but so I turn it upside down so that I make sure that the leaves underneath get a bit of a wetting as well. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so all the plants get a spritzing and they're responding to it really well. They really are. Oh, we're in here now, just tidying the table. It's just, isn't it interesting how a flat surface just becomes somewhere you can dump things? And um, so for the last few days, because I finished the quilt commission and uh, it's it's finished now. And so it's on its way. I'm tracking it across the Atlantic. It hasn't actually left the UK yet. And um, so, but having finished it, you always do need to have a really proper big tidy up because everything's just all over the place. And so the desk, you know, the computer desk where I am now, that got a tidy, uh, the big table, the kitchen, uh, everywhere got a sweep round. I even got the polish out and had a bit of a clean round that way. Yeah, so as I was saying, I was going to the dentist yesterday and I went down to look at the split that I did. Uh, there's a video about that. Um, I might leave a link if I can remember. Uh, and I was going to feed them some sugar water because that's what you have to do to keep them, uh, you know, to make sure they stay and they've got plenty to eat before they collect their own stores. And I saw a swarm hanging in the uh, um, the alder tree. And I thought, well, I can't film it, but I can get it. So I um, I went to the dentist. And when I got back, of course, they were still there because they can stay there for a good 24, 48 hours sometimes before they move on to their new home. And so I, um, I caught the swarm. Oh, I just want to show you these. Look, these are the fabrics that I bought. Now, when I do the quilt tutorial, which I'm going to do of the commission quilt, you'll see that it's fabric like that that I use. So I bought some more because it's beautiful. So, yeah, I caught the swarm and. Um, oh, look, there's Norma just reminding me to slow down a bit. Bless her. So this was the parent hive and they're all coming in and out of there beautifully. This was the split hive, the one that I'm feeding a bit of sugar to, coming in. And if, in fact, if you look really closely, you can see pollen on their legs coming in and out beautifully. This was the swarm I caught, which is just in a temporary box. I'm waiting till they really settle in, then I'll move them into a proper box. And this is the swarm I caught yesterday. And this is in a strange hive called a top bar hive. <laughs> so as I stand here, the whole of the window light, the west light shining through all over my apron. What would happen if I took my apron off because it's stripy? Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Birds and everything. Well, the apron's going back on because I'm cooking. I want to make something for my supper. Oh, wrong way. And so for my supper... Tonight, I was fishing around. I thought, oh, I don't know what to make. What shall I have? And I thought, I know, I'll make nut roast. 
because it's ages and ages since I made any nut roast. So I'm going to make nut roast with you guys now. Now I haven't got a recipe. <laughs> Are you going to manage with all this dappled light? <laughs> It'll move around in a minute. I haven't got a recipe for this. I wing this one completely. So if you are someone who likes a recipe, then um, maybe there's, pl there's plenty of recipes out there. But this is what I do for my nut roast. And I make it vegan, the nut roast, or vegetarian. And today I'm going to make it vegetarian because I've got some cheese. I want to put some cheese in it. A layer of cheese. Okay then, so let's get started. I've got everything uh, out here. Uh, to, to, to make a start. So I've got celery, onions, carrots, I've got nuts, I've got some tomato paste, a little tin of tomato paste. I'm going to use some of this bread here and um, and then some different spices and bits and pieces. But I'll get the camera in a good position for you uh, and then we'll make a start. I've got the big guns out. I'm going to be making a lot of noise in this thing because it's um, it, everything needs chopping. Everything needs chopping. I wonder if it will be easier or but less fun if you guys were over here. It'd be less fun, won't it? I'll put you on top of the toaster. Just a minute. I think that will work. I've got you perched on top of the toaster and all the, everything I need is here. So I'm going to put my big pan there and the first thing that's going in is some coconut oil. I'm a big fan of coconut oil and so we need a... Now it's fairly warm today so it's not that um, solid. There's some times of the year where you need a, a hammer and chisel to get that out. So I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil and a little bit of olive oil. Just a splash. Okay then. I'll just let that start melting together. I've got it on low. So now I'm just going to chop onions, celery and carrots and I'm going to whiz them all up in this food processor here. So it's almost certainly going to get speeded up. <laughs> I've had a very busy day. I've had a very busy few days. I got my hair cut, look. I love going to get my hair cut because where I go to get it cut, the people there are so lovely. It's like a party where you end up with your hair cut as well. I absolutely love them. Okay, so the, they're going to get all mixed around there. And the next thing we're going to mix up the nuts now. Now, they're very noisy. What I've got in here is a whole mix of nuts. I've got walnuts, brazils, cashews, uh, hazels, pecans. It's a big bag of mixed nuts is what I've got in here, basically. So uh, I think just for not confusing folk, I'll put them in something. Here we go. I'll put them in this cup so that you can see how many I'm putting in. Okay, so that's a cup full of nuts. A big cup. This is going to make a horrible noise. Now, there's still some quite big pieces in there, but that's good because it's nice to have a bit of texture. So I'm going to tip the nuts then. In fact, that's an, an absolute whole nut. Better eat that one. Mm, I do love cashew nuts. So I'm going to tip that mixture then into a bowl. I'll just 
matter about cleaning the bowl out in between times because it's just going to have in the things that are going in the nut roast. So now I've got some bread and this is fine, this bread's great. I got it on Sunday and what's today? Thursday. It's still fine. It's just a bit stale now. Um, yeah, I'll put that one in as well. And we'll get that a bit mixed up. And this is sourdough bread. It's really, it smells lovely. So this can go in with the nuts now. Um, mix those together. So in there then mix nuts and breadcrumbs. And in here, onions, celery and carrots. So we need to mix the wet things with the dry things, but we'll put a few more things in I think. We'll make this taste a little bit more scrummy. Now in this jar I have stock granules which are like a stock cube but vegetable stock granules. I'm just going to put a teaspoonful in. There. It's just it's nice savoury taste it gives it. Uh, and then I'm looking at my spices up here and wondering if I want to make it spicy or shall I just leave it? I'll let the taste sort themselves out I think. Okay then so I want some tomato in it but not much. So I've got this little uh, tomato concentrate. Whiz the lid off this. But that's too concentrated, so I'm going to mix it with a little bit of water. So I've got about just over half a pint of hot water. And I'm going to put this in it. And just make some sort of tomatoey water. So at some point I could put an egg in this to mix it together. I might still. I haven't decided. That's what I love about this nut roast. I never decide what I'm going to do until I, until I start making it. And you know that everything that goes into it is lovely stuff. So you're going to enjoy it, aren't you? Now I'm going to put the camera so that you can see what I'm doing somehow. So here in this pan then all the vegetables have sweated down really nicely. All right, coming to the point where we can put everything together. Okay, so I've turned that off. I'm going to put this in here. And then we're going to mix this round. So nuts and bread celery, onions and carrots, that's all that's in there at the moment and a little bit of stock granules. And so it's quite loose and so I need it to come together a little bit more. So I'm going to put some of this in. So now it's that's better, it's a little bit sloppier now. So what I'm going to put in now, because I can, uh, if I can find it, so in this jar I've got some whole oats that I get from the watermill at Little Salkeld and I'm just going to put a few in. Once, When you're eating this you won't even notice they're in there, but it's another thing that will bind it all together. 
and give it a little bit of structure because I'd really quite like to get a bit more of this tomato water in. It doesn't matter if I don't use it all because I'll put it in a soup or something. But yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more in because as the oats and the bread are soaking up all that moisture, it's getting a little thicker, which is perfect. That's lovely. Now, what it hasn't got in is any salt and pepper, and it really needs some salt and pepper. So let's get some of that. So a nice big pinch of salt. And then where's my pepper? Excuse me, I'm just going to reach over for my pepper. Now I grind my pepper up every few days in a mortar and pestle. And what's left in here actually is quite thickly ground. It's not very powdery, which would be quite nice to get a bit of chunky pepper in there. Okay, now the one thing I haven't put in there is chilli flakes. And you know, I think I'll put some in. This is a jar of chilli flakes in oil, which I have in the fridge. They're really, really nice. I'm just going to put in about a half a teaspoon. And make sure I mix that through really, really thoroughly. Now, just while I've been getting the chilli flakes, it's got a bit thicker. That's great. Oh, I do like a good nut roast. I'm going to taste it now, see what it's like. See if it needs anything more of anything else. Mm. No, that's pretty good. In fact, that's very good. Yeah, that's fine. That will do nicely. I'll just get every scrap of vegetable out of the pan. Don't want to leave anything behind. I guess if I had some parsley now, I'd put that in. But I haven't. Yes, yeah, some nice chopped parsley in there would go in very well indeed. Never mind. And I think that's moist enough. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to assemble it now. Uh, I might take you across the table to do that. or Because this light is ridiculous, isn't it? So I'm going to do this overhead now and I'm going to use these. When I was clearing out my mum's, uh, all my mum's kitchen stuff, my, my dad's never going to use these. And these are those sort of lining um, parchments that you can line a baking tin with. Now, I've got quite a lot of mixture, so I'm going to go for two, I think. And if I need to make a third one, I've got a third one here. And I want to give one of these to a friend of mine, and so this will be perfect to put it in this, um, in this little tray for him. Okay. So here's my mixture then. I, ho I hope this is going to work. <laughs> I'm going to give it a try. And so what I'm going to do, the mixture stiffened up nicely now, I'm going to put it in here. I've tasted it so I know that there's enough um, salt and pepper and everything in there. And I'm going to pop this in here and smash it down with a fork. But I'm filling it up halfway. So I'm using about half the mixture, so a quarter in each. And I'll get a fork now. Press that down. I'm going to press it down really well. Just 
what I'm going to do now, I've got some cheese now. I don't buy much cheese. And the other day I was in a supermarket and I saw this cheese in slices. It's Macedam cheese, which is a Dutch cheese. And it's here it is in slices. And that's not the usual way that I buy cheese. It's not going to undo for me, is it? Let's try it. Okay, let's see if I can get a piece off. Okay, so there's two pieces have come off there. We'll just see if we can get those apart. There we go. This is not how I usually buy cheese. It's actually really, really delicious cheese. So I'm going to put a piece in there like that and a piece in there like that. In fact, I'll shove that one up to the top and that one down to the bottom. We'll have a little bit so that you don't get missed off. If that's your, uh, if you get the end slice, that wouldn't do. Put that there, put this here. So like I say, this one's just vegetarian, not vegan. It's fine, I don't mind. Let's put a bit more there. In fact, now that we've got this one, we might as well just put a few more bits of cheese. We might as well have plenty. Yeah, that's a, probably a good idea. We'll get another one. There now. Put another one in there like that. Now, now I'm going to fill the rest of it up with the rest of the mixture. Okay. Scoop that in. There we go. Get it all out. Let's get my scrapey, scrapey thing. Can't leave any behind. It's a bit like making soap, isn't it? Actually, it's nothing like making soap, except that it's in a loaf tin. No, it's nothing like making soap. I want to make some soap again. I want you out of the way, please, Sadie. Because of course there is a cat not too far from the action. And this time it's Sadie, because Norma's gone outside. Okay, uh, that can go there. And then we're just going to bash it down, like that. And we're not quite finished. That was just enough mixture for winging it. That wasn't bad at all. And we're not quite finished. Because what I want to do now... I'm going to get these sunflower seeds and sprinkle them over the top. There we go. Now, I'm going to have this for my supper tonight. But uh, tomorrow is pottery, and so I'll take a piece of it cold with me, uh, with a bit of salad, and that'll be absolutely delicious. There we go. Just press those seeds in, so that when they come out of the oven, they don't fall all over the place, because it'll, they'll be stuck a bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to set the oven away. And while that's happening, I'm going to peel some potatoes and make some potatoes to go with it. Into the oven they go.
the garden the very 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 last of the asparagus mm. it's been so good this year mm. absolutely delicious and then the nut roast coming straight out of the oven like that it is a bit sloppy but as it cools down it will firm up and as the cheese sets a bit it will firm up but I'm going to take a little bit of nut roast with the cheese in Mmm. Mmm. Now I'll tell you what I'm getting there. There's crunch. Mmm. Because the nuts are a little bit, they're not completely obliterated. You could make everything really, really powdery if you wanted to have a really even textured nut roast. I like mine to have a lot of texture and to be able to see the individual tastes and things that's going on. And as I said to you when I was making it, you could mix an egg in and that would bind it together and it wouldn't fall apart quite so much. That's fine. I don't mind it falling apart. It was ready and the potatoes weren't quite. So I've got anemic roast potatoes. But this is what passes for a roast dinner around these parts. And so, bon appétit.